solve the absolute value of 4 minus 4x is greater than 20. Okay, we're going to split this into two inequalities. We're going to say 4 minus 4x is greater than 20, or 4 minus 4x is less than minus 20. Okay, so one inequality here with the absolute value signs becomes two inequalities without it. All right? We want things that are greater than 20, but smaller than negative 20. All right? If you um, solve this, first thing I want to do is I want to get a plus 4x. Okay? So instead of a minus 4x here, I want to have a plus 4x. So I'm going to add 4x here and 4x here. Bring down the 4, bring down the greater than, bring down the 20, and the 4x. So this way we write it, we get to write it without the negative coefficient for x. We'll have a plus 4x instead of a minus 4x. Then we're going to solve this for x, so I have to get rid of the 20, so we're going to subtract 20 from both sides. So you're going to have negative 16 here. 4 minus 20 is negative 16. The sign stays the same. You're going to have 4x here. Now you have 4x, and you have negative 16 is greater than 4x. Negative 16 is greater than 4x. So I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by the coefficient of the variable. The coefficient of this variable is 4. So I'll divide by 4. We'll have negative 4 here is greater than x. All right? Now we're going to do the same thing over here on this one. We're going to add 4x here and 4x here. So we'll bring down the 4 is less than 20 plus 4x. Then we're going to add 20 now, aren't we? Going to do the opposite of a minus 20. We're going to add 20. So you're going to get 24 over here on the left side is less than, bring down the 4x. Now we'll divide both sides by the coefficient of the variable, which is 4. The x is the variable. The coefficient of it is 4. Divide 24 by 4 and 4x divided by 4. Okay? So 24 divided by 4 is 6. All right? So 6 is less than s, and negative 4 is greater than s. Now, if negative 4 is greater than x, then, if negative 4 is greater than x, then x is going to be less than negative 4. Think about it this way. If for this inequality is pointing at the x, isn't it? The point goes toward the x. So you can put the x first and the negative 4, but the point must be pointing at the x here. So we're saying negative 4 is greater than x, so we're saying that x is less than negative 4. Now this one over here, we're pointing at, the inequality is pointing at the 6. So we'll put the x first, we'll put the 6, but we'll have this pointing at the x. Another way of saying this is that 6 is less than x, so x is greater than 6. It was pointing at the 6, now it's still pointing at the 6, both cases here. Now we're saying numbers that are less than 4, so if you put 4 on the number line, less than negative 4, 4 on, negative 4 on the number line, we're going to say numbers to the left of the negative 4, okay, and to the right of the 6. Numbers like 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, they're all to the right of the 6, and you're not going to fill in the dot, you're not going to put a, a um, bracket there because it's, it's just greater than. And you're not going to put a bracket here. You're going to have a parenthesis because it's just less than. Interval notation, we're going from negative infinity up to and not including the negative 4. Okay. And then union that with, and we're going to go from the 6 here on to infinity going to the right. 